Hello, everyone, and welcome back. Now, the other day, I did a video about how upset I was with George R. R. Martin and him continuing to take different projects and other projects and almost push back Winds of Winter. When Winds of Winter is the thing that the majority of his fan base is waiting for, that is the continuation of the story that has made him famous, that has provided him with the money, and that has given him the ability to do these other projects. And there were a lot of people that kind of got upset with my video. And I'll be honest with you, I totally get it. I understand why you would be upset. That's I think that's a valid thing to be upset about, that I'm sitting here kind of like yelling at this guy. But the thing is, you know, think about it like this. So we've been waiting for this project. Now, I haven't been waiting as long as most people have. But we've been waiting for this thing for 12 years now. 12 years? 12 years. And it's just like, what what else have you been doing? And the thing that's annoying is we know what else he's been doing. He's done, he helped produce the first couple seasons of Game of Thrones. He helped produce uh, House of the Dragon season one. He did Elden Ring. He's doing these other projects with HBO. And it's just kind of annoying to see other stuff ahead of Winds of Winter. Now, I do have a question for everyone, and I'm curious what your favorite non- Westeros non Song of Ice and Fire project of George's is. You know, there's a bunch of them. A lot of people are probably going to say Elden Ring. Uh, he's got that one short story that I don't believe had anything to do with Westeros called The Ice Dragon. I always thought that was a really fun read. But I'm curious what you have to say. And then I'm also curious what your favorite story inside of Westeros is. Mine is probably A Night of the Seven Kingdoms. Um, I, I'm, I've always been a big fan of night stories and I think it works as a really good story, but without further ado, let's get into what we're talking about today. And the reason I started this by talking about my video was because George gave another interview, uh, earlier this week with bang, I think is the name of the organization company interviewer. I don't know what they're called. Um, where he said some stuff that is annoying and I'll explain why. So here's the article. George R. R. Martin struggling with the winds of winter. I still have hundreds more pages to go. This is by Dan Sleck Selk from Fansided. Now he, he says the same stuff, you know, he's working on the books almost every day. He's making steady progress, which is awesome. That's great to hear. If it's true. And the thing that's annoying about this, the the reason that this is annoying is because we get this in the interview. I have like 1,100 pages written, but I still have hundreds more pages to go. It's a big mother of a book for whatever reason. Maybe I should have started writing smaller books when I began this, but it's tough. That's the main thing that dominates most of my working life. Now, why is this annoying? This should be good news. He's got 1,100 pages done. And he says he has hundreds more pages to go, not thousands. So you could reasonably assume he's got, you know, 500 pages left to write. He's That's a third of what he's written. He sh it shouldn't take him so long. But what's annoying is he said the exact same thing last year. He gave us the exact same number last year. And it's just like, man, this this makes it look like you're not writing a lot or that you're restarting and going over. And the thing that bugs me is just tell us that. Like, I would, I would rather him tell me or tell us that a, either he has writer's block or that he's written himself into a hole and he's trying to figure out how to get out of the hole. Tell us why the book's not out yet. That I think that's what annoys me and other people like me. It's the lack of communication. Now, this is actually a really good interview. Uh, Bangcast number 66. You know, it's got George R. R. Martin and Bernard Cromwell on it. Um, Bernard obviously wrote the Saxon stories, which uh, Last Kingdom is based off of. Uh, the Warlord Chronicles, and probably my favorite series of his is the Sharp novels. 
very good. And they kind of link together because Sean Bean played Richard Sharp in the television uh, versions. And Sean Bean obviously played Ned Stark in uh, the first season of Game of Thrones. So nice little link there between these two writers. You know, it's funny because we've all seen that video on YouTube where George asks Stephen King, you know, how do you write so quickly? And I don't remember what Stephen said. Probably said something like, you don't really care about what you put on the page. Uh, But he kind of says the same thing about Bernard here. I wish I could write as fast as Bernard, but I'm 12 years late on this damn novel and I'm struggling with it, which unfortunately isn't any new information. And see, we can see it right here. For the record, this is the same thing that Martin said several months ago when he appeared on a segment of The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. When Martin is asked how much of the winds of winter he's written, he replies, eh, like 1,100, 1,200, something like that. It's not done yet. I need another 400 or 500 pages. So that's just what is kind of annoying. Like, if if you're constantly telling us the same number that you've written, it makes us, the fans, feel like you're not doing anything. I'd rather him say, I've written this no- amount if it doesn't change. Like, you know, let's say he puts a, you know, he's got his not a blog. Let's say he were to put a page counter on there or something. And and not like a specific, not something that says I'm on page 1,182, but just something that kind of goes by the hundreds. That way we, A, know he's actually doing stuff. Now it could be that, you know, he's actually written another 400 pages 300 pages over the last year and but he's not sure where everything's gonna fit like it could be the case where the thousand pages is set they're in the correct order they're edited all that stuff that could be it but without really hearing from the man and getting an explanation as to what's going on we don't really know and that again that's what aggravates me as a fan that's what aggravates a lot of people i think but as a fan i will continue to wait i will continue to love this story i will continue to call george one of the best fantasy writers of today i don't i'm not quite ready to say he's one of the best of all time but he is definitely one of the best today and i uh i'm excited and i'll i'll be excited forever until he dies without releasing it, I'll be excited because I just cannot wait to go, to go back and to delve back into that world of Westeros. As always, everyone, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. Hit the subscribe. It really helps. And follow us on Twitter at Kings Advisors underscore. I hope everyone has a great day.